Hey there, I'm Jana Briner and you're watching Crash Course. On today's episode, we're going to be traveling back in time to medieval Europe, where we will explore the infamous War on Cats. Were rumors of witchcraft and black magic somehow responsible for the largest massacre of felines in human history? And was a Catholic Pope somehow responsible for the bubonic plague? Find out the answers to these interesting questions and more on this episode of Crash Course. First, let's start with a brief history of cats through several notable ancient societies. Cats have been beloved by people of many cultures for thousands of years. In fact, the ancient Egyptians had a great reverence for cats and believed that they were sacred animals. They believed that cats were the embodiment of the goddess Bastet, who was the goddess of fertility, home, and childbirth. The Egyptians believed that cats had supernatural powers and could protect their homes and families from harm. They even mummified cats and buried them with their owners as a sign of respect and reverence. Cats were also depicted in Egyptian art and were believed to be guardians of the underworld. In ancient Greece, cats were often kept as pets and valued for their ability to control the rodent population. Cats were also believed to possess supernatural abilities and were associated with the goddess Hecate, who was considered the patron of magic and witchcraft. This association led to the belief that cats could protect their owners from evil spirits and witches. As a result, cats were often depicted in Greek art and literature, particularly in relation to the worship of Hecate. Aristotle documented the nature and behavior of animals, including cats, in his work, Historia Animalium. In his writings, Aristotle observed that cats were intelligent animals with independent and curious personalities. He noted that cats had a keen sense of sight and hearing, which made them effective hunters. And he also described their grooming habits and their preference for cleanliness. Aristotle's observations of cats were among the first documented accounts of the behavior and biology of these animals, and they influenced later thinkings and scientists in their studies of felines. Cats also played a practical role in ancient Rome, where they were primarily kept as hunters and pest controllers. Romans valued cats for their ability to control rodent populations and protect grain stores from pests. Despite their practical importance, cats did hold some symbolic significance in Roman culture. They were sometimes associated with the goddess Diana, who was revered for her hunting abilities and her connection to the moon. Cats were also associated with the goddess Venus, who was said to have a beloved cat named Fial. The rise of the Christian church in the Roman Empire marked a significant transition from ancient times, particularly in terms of the religious and political landscape of medieval Europe. Prior to the rise of the church, ancient religions such as paganism and polytheism had been widely practiced throughout Europe. The church's spread throughout Europe resulted in the widespread adoption of Christianity as the dominant religion, and the church's influence extended beyond the realm of religion into politics, art, and culture. This period saw the rise of a Christian monarchy and the establishment of the papacy, which held significant political and religious power throughout Europe. This period also saw the development of Christian art and architecture, including the construction of grand cathedrals and churches. The rise of the church marked a significant transition from the polytheistic religions of ancient times to a new era dominated by Christianity and the influence of the church. As Christianity became more prominent in Europe, the perception of cats started to shift. The association of cats with witchcraft and the devil would become prevalent in Europe during the Middle Ages. Medieval witch hunts were a widespread phenomenon which occurred across Europe from the 13th to the 18th century. 
The hunts contributed to a general atmosphere of fear and paranoia across Europe. They were fueled by the belief in witches, who were believed to have made pacts with the devil in exchange for supernatural powers. The hunt for witches often began with accusations against vulnerable and marginalized individuals, such as women, the elderly, or the poor. These individuals were often subjected to brutal interrogations and torture until they confessed to witchcraft, even if they were innocent. Confessions were often extracted through the use of extreme physical pain or the threat of death and were often followed by public executions. The fear of witches was driven by a belief that they had the power to cause harm to individuals or communities, often through the use of spells or curses. This fear was stoked by religious and political authorities who saw witchcraft as a threat to social order and the stability of the state. In addition to the deaths of thousands of innocent people, the witch hunts also had other devastating consequences. The hunts often involved the use of torture methods to extract confessions, ultimately resulting in many false accusations and convictions. This led to a breakdown of trust within communities where anybody could be falsely accused of practicing witchcraft. The hunts also caused a drain on resources as towns and villages were forced to divert time and money towards rooting out witches. Furthermore, the hunts reinforced patriarchal power structures by targeting and demonizing women, contributing to the ongoing subjugation of women in society. Overall, the witch hunts had far-reaching and long-lasting impacts on European society, destabilizing communities and undermining the rule of law. Enter Pope Gregory IX. Pope Gregory IX was the head of the Catholic Church from 1227 until his death in 1241. Prior to his election as Pope, Gregory IX served as a cardinal and was known for his legal expertise and his involvement in the canonization of St. Francis of Assisi. Pope Gregory IX is known for his role in the establishment of the Papal Inquisition, which was used to root out heresy within the church. He also issued several important papal bulls, including Vox in Rama, which condemned the practice of witchcraft and the worship of demons. However, one of his most controversial actions was the so-called War on Cats, in which he issued a papal bull or official declaration calling for the extermination of cats throughout Europe. On June 13, 1233, Pope Gregory IX issued the Vox in Rama to King Henry of Germany, expressing concern over various afflictions affecting the church to include the rise of a satanic cult in North Germany that was identified by the German Catholic priest Conrad of Marburg. Marburg was a zealous advocate for the Catholic Church and worked closely with Pope Gregory IX in his efforts to root out heresy and combat the spread of witchcraft and demonic worship in Germany. The papal bull called upon the bishops of Mainz and Hildesheim to support Conrad in rooting out these witches and provided a detailed account of their satanic rituals, which subsequently became a model for all future depictions of witches' sabbats. The account contributed to the association of cats with the devil, establishing them as symbols of evil in popular culture. The Vox and Rama papal began by describing the initiation of novices into the coven. Firstly, they are greeted by an abnormally large toad, whose, for lack of a better word, behind they must kiss. And a quote-unquote man of fearful pallor and thinness, whose task was to suck out quote-unquote, every last remnant of faith in the Catholic Church from their soul. The novice then feasted with the rest of the congregation 
after which they assemble to pay homage to a, quote, black cat, which emerged, quote unquote, from a kind of statue which normally stands in the place where these meetings are held. The whole coven was required to kiss the cats behind, and once they had done this, a wild sexual orgy occurred. Once the lights came back on, quote unquote, from a dark corner, the figure of a man emerges. This man was Lucifer, who the whole company firmly believed to have been wronged by God. As was to be expected of a former angel, quote unquote, the upper part of his body from the hips upward shines as brightly as the sun. However, his fall from grace was encapsulated by his lower body, where, quote unquote, his skin is coarse and covered with fur like a cat. The response to Pope Gregory the Ninth's bull was mixed. On one hand, some people believed that the rise of witchcraft and devil worship represented serious threats to the Christian church and society as a whole. The detailed description of the witch's sabbat and the association of cats with the devil helped to fuel a growing hysteria around witchcraft in Germany and beyond, leading to the increased prosecution and executions of suspected witches. The bull was also used by inquisitors and other church officials to justify their campaigns against heresy and unorthodox religious practices. On the other hand, there were some people that opposed the papal bull and the methods used to combat witchcraft. Some argued that the use of torture and other extreme measures to extract confessions from the suspected witches was unethical and contrary to Christian values. Others questioned the validity of the accusations of witchcraft, arguing that many of the supposed witches were innocent victims of superstition and hysteria. Nonetheless, the papal bull had a significant impact on the history of witchcraft in Europe and helped to shape popular attitudes towards witchcraft and its association with the devils and cats. At this time, many people began to view cats with suspicion and fear. Cats were often seen as companions of witches and were believed to possess magical powers themselves. Over time, the belief that black cats bring bad luck became more widespread, with some people even believing that they were a sign of impending death. Specifically, black cats were often targeted and killed, leading to a decline in their population and contributing to the negative associations with felines. Cats became targets of persecution and violence, with many being killed or tortured in an effort to root out supposed witchcraft. In some cases, entire communities would gather to hunt and kill cats, burning them alive or throwing them off of high buildings. This killing of cats was encouraged by the church, which saw them as a threat to the purity of the faithful and to the authority of the church in general. This persecution of cats was particularly widespread in Germany, where the Vox and Rama had been issued, but it was also seen in other parts of Europe. The persecution of cats continued for centuries, and it is estimated that millions of cats were killed during this time. There are several historical records and accounts that suggest that cats were killed in large numbers during the period of witch hunts in Europe. One of the most famous accounts is from the French writer Nicolas Remy, who in his book Demon à la Trie described how cats were often burned alive as part of the witch hunts in the late 16th century. There are also numerous historical illustrations and paintings that depict the killing of cats, often in gruesome and violent ways. Historians have long debated whether Pope Gregory IX's Vox in Rama played a role in triggering one of the most devastating pandemics in history. 
The Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague, was a deadly pandemic that swept through Europe in the mid-14th century, killing an estimated 25 million people or more, up to one-third of the entire population of Europe. This disease was caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, which was carried by fleas that invested the black rats that were common in European cities at that time. The symptoms of the disease included fever, chills, vomiting, and the appearance of painful swollen lymph nodes in the groin, armpit, and neck. The disease was highly contagious, and once it began to spread, it moved quickly throughout entire communities, causing mass panic and devastation. Although the war on cats was initiated almost a hundred years earlier, the lasting negative perceptions and decline in the cat population likely contributed to the spread of disease in Europe throughout this With period. With fewer cats to keep the rat population in check, the number of rats increased rapidly, creating ideal conditions for the spread of the disease. This is supported by reports of rat infestations throughout Europe prior to the plague, which suggest a decline in feline predators. The rats carrying infected fleas could move easily from one place to another, spreading the disease to humans and other animals. This contributed to the rapid spread of the Black Death. Furthermore, the war on cats led to a decline in their popularity as a pet and working animal, and many people began to view them as creatures of the devil. This led to a cultural shift away from using cats to control rodent populations, which made the problem of rat infestation even worse. In some areas, rats were even celebrated as symbols of good luck further perpetuating the belief that cats were evil. The Black Death pandemic had a significant and lasting impact on Europe. One of the most immediate effects was a sharp decline in population, with some estimates suggesting that up to a third of Europe's population died during the outbreak. This led to labor shortages, which in turn led to higher wages for workers and changes in the feudal system. Additionally, the pandemic had a profound impact on religious beliefs, as people struggled to understand how a supposedly benevolent god would allow the spread of such a terrible and devastating disease. This led to increased skepticism of the church and a rise in alternative spiritual practices such as mysticism and alchemy. The Black Death also had significant economic consequences. As populations declined, demands for goods and services also declined, leading to a significant economic downturn. This led to social unrest and political upheaval as people struggled to adapt to their new economic realities. Additionally, the pandemic had long-term effects on medicine and public health. In the aftermath of the outbreak, there was a renewed focus on hygiene and sanitation, as well as the development of new medical treatments and practices. Historians debate whether the war on cats directly contributed to the Black Death pandemic for several reasons. First, there is no concrete evidence that cats actually played a significant role in the spread of the disease. While it is true that the cat population declined during this period, this decline may have been due to a variety of factors, including economic and social changes that occurred during the same time period. Finally, while it is possible that the decline in the cat population indirectly contributed to the spread of the bubonic plague, there is still a great deal of debate about the extent to which rats and fleas were responsible for the transmission of the disease. Given these factors, it is difficult to draw a clear definitive connection between the war on cats and the Black Death pandemic. Second, while cats were certainly associated with witchcraft and the devil during this time period, there is no evidence to suggest that this association was the primary motivation behind the killing of cats. 
So what can we learn from all this? Well, first, it's important to acknowledge that history is complex and that our perception of events can change over time. The War on Cats is a reminder of the dangers of superstition and the consequences of blindly following religious or political leaders without question. This topic has a lot of value in a classroom setting, particularly when discussing medieval Europe, witchcraft, or the spread of disease. The information could be used in a history lesson to teach students about the cultural and religious beliefs of medieval Europeans by exploring the role of cats in ancient civilizations, how these views changed during the medieval period, and the impact of the Catholic Church on the lives of people during this time. Teachers could teach students about biology and the transmission of diseases in an interdisciplinary science lesson. Students could learn about how diseases like the Black Death are spread and the role of animals, including cats and rats, in this process. Teachers could also develop an English lesson to teach students about the power of propaganda and the impact that language can have on shaping public opinion. Additionally, students could investigate the role of art in shaping cultural beliefs and values. Students could analyze art from the medieval period that depicts cats, witches, and other related themes and discuss what these images tell us about the cultural beliefs of the time. In conclusion, Pope Gregory the Ninth's War on Cats may seem like a bizarre footnote in history, but it's a powerful reminder of the impact that human beliefs and actions can have on the world around us. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Crash Course. No cats were harmed in the making of this film.